Now we're going to go over how to use the Anju Seal device in a little bit more of a practical scenario. Um, so for our demonstration here, let's pretend that this is our femoral artery axis sheath. Um, and then we have our Angia Seal device here. We have the wire. We have the um, introducer that, and the stylet that we'll put together. We have the actual Angia Seal. We have scissors for cutting later. Um, so to get started, we'll put together our introducer here. And we'll make sure that the arrows line up. And then when we're inserting this introducer, what we will do is we will insert it in this orientation because we see that it's tapered. And then once we get blood that comes out of the hole here, we'll flip it over and then we'll go from there. And I'll kind of explain. But we'll start by loading it this way and introducing it this way. Then once we get blood by making sure that we're intravascular, we'll flip it and go from there. So we have this here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to um, put our wire in our sheath here and we'll take the sheath out just pinch pull out our sheath and then once we have wire here we'll put pressure down um, because this is an arterial you know site and we can put our sheath away now either you can have someone help you or you can just kind of load on this introducer here by yourself. Okay. We have wire back here. So we will just bring this introducer in, in this orientation like we discussed before. Okay, we'll just kind of push it in. And let's say at this point we're pushing in, we start to notice that there's blood coming out of the hole. What we can do is just flip it over and still see the bleeding. This will let us know that we are in the vessel that we're trying to close. And then what we will do is we will pull back until the bleeding stops from that hole. Um, this will let us know that we're now just outside the vessel. Then we will advance back in until we see the bleeding again. Let's say it's at this point, And this will let us know that we're right inside the vessel. This is where we want to deploy our anchor. So at this point, what you can do is you can grab the wire and the introducer here together, and you can pull them out, paying special attention not to move your um, angioseal introducer. And then at this point, you can take your Angia Seal from its packaging. Make sure we line up the orientation and you can kind of now plug it in to here and just kind of push it into place. And now we're going to kind of push this together until we hear a click. That's our first click. This means that the anchor has been deployed. And then we pull back and click. That means that the anchor has been locked. At this point, what we're going to do is that we're going to pull back the whole device here, like so. And we'll see that we're, we're going to apply pressure as well, too and we'll pull this back as much as we can and we'll keep pulling until we see this black indicator. Um, and then in addition to pulling actually what we'll also do is we'll push down with this tamping down device here until we see that black indicator. So this tamping device we kind of push down to flatten that collagen plug and when we go until that black indicator there, that means that we've tamped down appropriately. And then we'll take our scissors and we can cut right above here. You want to cut in between this little thing which uh, prevents the uh, tamping down device from coming off and the black line. 
So we'll just cut right here. And then what we can do is we can pull off our tamp down device and we just have a suture left. And now what we can do is just make sure that we have good hemostasis, but then we can cut flush with the skin, the suture, and the collagen plug has been deployed in here and we you know, hopefully have hemostasis. And then we can put on a dressing and be done.